Hello, the Bro Crew, and welcome back to a new episode of uh, Pseudo Lower uh, Pseudo Lower League Management with Geisley here, and as you can see, my manager here, J Jacke Espresso O Aman, is actually pretty happy there, so that's nice uh, to see. Yes. Uh, so yeah, it's been a um, pretty decent month, or some ups and some downs, but I feel like we've still done it decently, so yeah, I, it, it, I will do the montage a little bit different, like having uh, the best uh, goals scored. Uh, the best turning point or whatever and the most disappointing game or whatever so I will probably not have all matches but yeah so I see you soon again
Okay, so yeah, I guess you will see that. So pretty decently at least. Where I would say that where were we? Oh yeah, there were so many matches here. So it was Stoke Port match. Uh, so yeah, we had a lot of matches, but we were really good here in uh, uh, January. Uh, for most of the games, except Heldos Ford and this last one, so fortunately we dropped down a little bit there. But as you can see, nicely, I needed to play twice because unfortunately, uh, Football Manager crash we crashed, which it can do sometimes. So I needed to play it again, and then we were. Yeah, we are fifth here, so Adels Fortin, even if we lost against them, uh, we are still one point uh, better than them. But they have played one match less, so it's also that. Um, but we have played one match less than Solomon, so yeah, you can see it either way or whatever, but it's still pretty close here. And Harrogate has also another match. So I guess we can see here. Still the best uh, positioning. Or possession. I mean possession. As we have the ball the best. And we have the best passing rating. Which is nice to see there. I don't know if we are. Lot of. Lot of penalties given to kick or no not the indirect free kicks there we were pretty bad yeah but uh, uh, direct free kicks we have actually not conceded any goals either so that's nice to see and we oh fortunately conceded three goals on corners those damn corners but i thought there were more so that's nice to see and uh eight uh clean sheets here yeah, I believe his Elmi has done pretty decently, but he's not the best there. As you can see, even if Elmi 28 yeah, has he conceded so far. Uh, Charlie Abelson is best with 23. And he is also the best clean she uh, sheets there. Uh, almost every 90 minutes, so almost every match, if you just count minutes or whatever to say. Uh, so that's nice to see. Uh, assist, we have Brooksby and Rooney J, but both of them has dropped down a little bit there, as you can see. And Kof is damn amazing. Been a lot of injured this season, so that's a problem. He's one of our most important guys, but uh, our North Isles Irish player here, Ergan McCloy, has stepping up and he has actually been better passing completing there and then we have Dawson there as well uh, who's the best ratings here then I guess we should see best average rating has Willie Lidger yeah not so many that I know of but Dawson has the best so six be able to do this I'm I'm not sure if we will be able to go up but feel like we have a more stable team or whatever we're not okay we're not probably not the best but we are not the worst last season we were really good offensively this season we're not that good offensively but still 44 it's third in the league so it's it's not that bad um uh, so uh, this is annoying this is the annoying thing here that is always takes away the assist so bergen is the, again the best player here with 19 goal f uh, goals on 20 appearances and 6 times substitution. Then we have Rooney there. Uh, Boys have actually done 9 now. So he has really stepped it, uh, stepped it up recent matches. Uh, as you can see before he had like just 3 or 4. So yeah I don't know if you can see me. But I guess this is the best I can get with the face cam so far. 
and Rooney G and Brooksby is again the best. Uh, Parker has been better and better recent days there. Uh, Dawson has been the best player as you could see there in the league. He had sixth best average rating also. Uh, so that was nice to see. And McCloy has also been good. And as you can see, Osborne still pretty low. Only 15 matches played. But that's a nice thing here, which I probably would put in anyway in the montage or whatever. <laughs> like. Uh, a st or not star player um i don't know what to say it <laughs> youth player of the month i don't know <laughs> or youth player or just i i don't know what i will call it but whatever actually ben lewis actually did his first goal and the first two appearances constance as you can see he's actually played five matches and I should play them some from the start since we had some injuries there. So he has played two from the start, so that's nice to see. So it's not just Elmi actually. This is our own product which has gone so or have played some in the first team. So actually, Constance has also played five uh, uh, matches from start and three. Um, substitution there the cabane again has been brilliant this season compared to the other season and as you can see osborne has been good when he has been able to play uh clackstone is a new player we got in and unfortunately matty hamilton got injured once again he was injured then he was back a while and i tried to start them or something and then I was injured on training again so I think I actually will okay it's, as you see the stats is not that bad but he's just injured too much yeah 6.75 I feel like that is still decent uh, and she's as you can see, Joshua Clackstone or whatever it's called. Is it actually, I only used him in one match, so it's not fair really to. But yeah, as you can see here, he's a pretty young Englishman. Uh, pretty good mental stats, actually, and pretty good. Uh, pretty good all round, actually. But And yeah, it says there that is best at the right back uh, but I will say it's more like a backup for Cobain because we did not have a backup for Cobain we had the backup for Parker here but no backup for Cobain so it's nice so he some matches here in this season so that's nice so we don't get injuries and such uh, but yeah I guess we should go into today's game against uh, uh, FC United here. Actually, I feel like the Wii tactic has worked better and better. Uh, recent, I don't know if we can see here. Yeah, there we won. There we unfortunately lost. There we won 6 1, which was the brilliant. Maybe the crush of the. of the. what to call it? of the period there so let's see a uh, McCloy so yeah Brooksby and Burnett who has actually scored some assists here and I believe yeah Thompson actually scored a goal as well but they have not get used that much I thought they would be more important players or whatever but they have not shown to be that great or whatever and uh, Hopefully it will work out or whatever. Um, let's see if we need to make some changes. Let's go on that shoot from sight. And let's close down a little bit more. Yeah, that looks good. The FC United, if you did not know, and probably many of my subscribers are not football fans or whatever. But it's kind of cool since FC United is, is uh, fans founded or f I don't. It's a called 
Yeah, I believe that fans founded the club or fans. Yeah, fans that built the club or whatever. Uh, it's from uh, Manchester United's uh, supporters, and they were just mad of the or not happy with the <coughs> modern fo football and all its money and such. Not that many local players either, so they decided to start uh, own team, and yeah, they actually play in. I, I don't know if they now play or if they have played. Uh, I guess we could see here in the start of the save. Yeah, actually they play in the Vanarama North from the beginning of the save. So that's pretty cool and... Yeah, I believe they are all... Or the clubs are all owned by... Um, uh, fans and such so that's that's pretty cool actually and pretty interesting so yeah it, it is interesting I think I've seen some actually doing uh, football manager uh, football manager saves with uh, FC United which is kind of interesting uh, to get them up and then make so they are the better team and uh, whatever but of course we will well hopefully Osborne will not get injured here it's a, l a little bit risk of taking him in but I guess we'll see oh my god such a poor match so far nothing really happens <laughs> I mean, we have the most of the ball, so that's nice to see, but nothing really happens so far. It's really not that interesting. Really poor first off. That's too bad. Ooh, no. Of course, a corner. Marcus Tavandren. Ugh, we have been so poor, not really <laughs> that interesting match so far. Not too fun to see it or to coach it. Um, maybe we should go more on control here. Lift up our position or whatever. Play more direct passing style of football. Let's see if we can do something. If nothing really happens or if we don't get better, I might actually take in one more forward here. Bergen! Ugh. Terrible shot. He's not been good today, unfortunately. Okay, I will definitely take up another attacker here. So we get a little bit more threat. Even if Bergen has been almost as bad that I would actually want to take him out. But oh well. Yeah, I guess he will still be on because you never know. I mean he's pretty effective once he gets the chances. Uh, go on attacking now because nothing is really happening. This is this is what happens sometimes. Just you just have to deal with it. Uh, I feel like we can do more. I mean, it's FC United. I feel like most of the time they are actually in the saves, more like a team that actually is able to maybe not to go down, but are like. 15 in the league or such I mean we were not terrible so I don't know bad luck I guess but I feel like we could have done better it was such a bland <laughs> match or whatever to say and uh, so I guess I don't know I might upload or I guess in if I have time, I might upload actually two episodes since uh, the Heptagon Lock. Um, I have a pause for that right now, so 
Yeah. Oh my god. Our form is not great. We have not scored in three matches. So that's pretty ter terrible indeed there. Hopefully we can. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's actually uh, do the match here against Wolfax since they are a team that is uh, really hoping to also get the playoffs so I guess we will see if we have lost our playoff spot or if we are still in the race uh, for the playoff spot there so yeah and you can tell me if you want to see anything else I guess we haven't uh, one thing is of course the economics doesn't go that great I believe at least but the, the problem is when you play in this lower league, you don't get that much money. Uh, but one thing is, of course, a tendency. And uh, so, can you not put a good look here and see average attendancy? Um, I want to see this isn't. Okay, that's... I don't know if you can just see the league. I wanted to see the league here. Team date detail. I believe you can see here. Because that could be interesting. Okay, unfortunately no game. Uh, Portway will look more better there. 14, that is terrible. And we are just mid-table here, so well, <laughs> we will not be able to build up the stadium, at least not now. Maybe later when we get into League 2 and such, but yeah, thank you all for watching, have a good tea and a good coffee day, and i see you soon again, so bye!